Hi everyone, Greg here. Today is June 26th, 2022, and I'm back in St. Louis for another game. Anyway, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping to see Albert Pujols play today. Anyway, let's go check things out. And I'm starting out in the ballpark village as I did the other day, but as you can see, it's a little less party atmosphere here today. It's just after 10 o'clock, so there's not a whole heck of a lot of people here yet today. It's just crazy to me to think how many amazing baseball moments happened right here at this spot. And now people just kind of hang out here and eat food and stuff like that. So this is no ordinary parking lot. It has a traffic circle here with the giant World Series trophy here. World Series champions. The rain's coming down a little bit harder as I look at the arch off in the distance and some of the buildings in the skyline. Another sign here on the back, Ballpark Village, right here in front of the Bally Sports Live. All right, so I made it inside the Bally Sports Live. This is kind of cool. It's like an indoor food court kind of thing. They've got a giant screen up there playing golf at the moment. I imagine once the game gets going, they'll be playing the game up there. I hope I'm allowed to go upstairs. Oh, here's the Clydesdales mural right here. Pretty good view from up here. So I was admiring all this uh, network equipment over here, but then I realized this must be where they do the, uh, the sports reporting. Oh, this is cool. And up there it says Bally Sports Midwest Studio. That's so cool. And they got quite a few uh, bars and restaurants up here. Here's one called the Professional Bull Riders. Here's one called the Barn. And then over there is one called Shark Bar. I go for a Clark Bar. I don't know about a Shark Bar. All right, now I've come over here by the right field entrance. And the sign up there says 19 time National League champions and 11 World Series champions. So I noticed kind of along the walkway, there's these little moments here on the ground with uh, memory stones that people can buy. This one may be the most important one to me because in 1982, when they won the World Series, that's when I became a Cardinals fan. And October 14th, 1985, go crazy folks. That's when Ozzy hit the home run. Here's one that's still burned into a lot of people's memories, 70 home runs for McGuire on September 27th, 1998. September 17th, 2001, I remember when Jack Buck read his poem called For America. In one of the greatest moments, world champions, October 27th, 2006, and David Eckstein was the MVP, who I just met David not, not too long ago. And I made it down as far as I could possibly go. There's a lot of people around here waiting to get in. But over here, I think this must be where the Cardinals come in. Hmm. And then over there, you're gonna see the retired numbers everywhere. I mean, there's so many retired Cardinal numbers. <laughs> They're running out of them just for the regular players. It's the Nature Boy. Can I get a woo? Woo! <laughs> go Cards. Go Cards. All right, I made it inside and it's raining. Not too hard, but hard enough for them to put the tarp on the field. So we got two hours for this rain to clear up so the game can start. All right, and I don't know how you can come to St. Louis and not get some barbecue. I got the brisket, and I got Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Is that from St. Louis? I'm not even sure. So my review of the brisket, a little fatty, a little too fatty. All right, it looks like they're pulling back the tarp. Hopefully that means that we're going to be playing some baseball here. Still a little overcast. Also, I'm right here at the Cardinals dugout. I'm touching the Cardinals dugout. There's the big logo right there on the back of it. And then over here is the World Series champions right there on the back. And then here's all the different banners, 2011, 2006. I was happy on that one. 1982, when I became a Cardinals fan, 67, 64, 46, 44, 42, 34, 31, and 26. 
And I'm right here on the edge of the dugout. It's so cool. That would be where Tony La Russa stood during the 2011 World Series as he watched that home run go flying right out there into the berm. And why are they putting the tarp back on the field? No, no. Keep rolling up that tarp, guys. Keep rolling it up. I don't want to see the tarp on the field. And way up there is Big Mac Land. Now, Mark McGuire has never played in this park, to my knowledge, but uh, back in the old Bush Stadium, he used to hit home runs kind of in that general direction, so they dubbed it Big Mac Land. And when they moved into this stadium, they just decided to kind of continue the tradition and bring it over to here, too. And we got some of the Cubs fans over here hoping to get maybe an autograph or a picture or something. So I'm out here in left field, and I can see all the retired numbers here. Hornsby, who didn't have a number back when he played. Ozzy, Shane Dist, Buck, who never played, but as I said, he's kind of a legendary announcer, so they, they honor him by, by having him uh, with all the uh, retired numbers. Musial, Slaughter, Tony La Russa, Boyer, Dizzy Dean, Brock, Simmons, Whitey Herzog. Of course, every team has Jackie Robinson as a retired number. Bruce Suter, Bob Gibson, and Gussie Bush, 85, who was the former owner of the team. And here's a view inside the Cardinals dugout. Not a lot of players in there at the moment. My seat is like right nearby too. And this is my view from my seat. I don't know, I think it's pretty good, uh, pretty good chance I might get a home run in this area. Nothing cards. And from inning one to inning two, Fred Bird is always out here getting pictures, signing autographs, and generally acting weird. <laughs> back home runs and I was getting ice cream. That's three home runs in this inning. We're just launching them on these guys now. Well, that's one way to tie it up. Okay, so test, maybe test first. He, he's out. He's out. Controversy on that uh, play. It should have been a double play at first. The replay showed he was out. Double play! Go for two, 
will go for two. Well, that's going to do it. I have to catch a plane now, so I had to leave at the seventh inning stretch. So I don't even know the outcome of this game. Currently, it's five to five. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Also picked up a couple of souvenirs, a Cardinals lapel pin, which, I don't know, maybe I'll put that on my hat. Sounds like somebody just caught a close to being home run ball. But I also got this keychain here, so this is, this is for my wife.